Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to tell if you're good at Monster Hunter. <laughs> to tell if someone or yourself is good at Monster Hunter, all you have to do is look at the enrage sequence for a particular monster. So when that monster is enraged and just look at the chain of events that happens over time. So here I have a little diagram going on and the red rectangles indicate monster attack while it's enraged. And the green rectangles indicate an attack that you attack with. So in the ideal situation for a good Monster Hunter player, after every attack that the monster does in Enrage, the player is able to follow up with their own attack and hit the monster. And you can see it alternates. Monster attack, your attack, monster attack, your attack. Now, basically this scenario can only happen if you don't get hit. So what I'm trying to say is the real good Monster Hunter players, they don't get hit. And if you want to take it a step further, if you give a really good player a non-bis weapon, so you know a weapon with uh, suboptimal raw damage, they'll still be able to accomplish this. Because what a weapon with high attack power does is that it allows for more flinches on the monster, which leads into this next diagram I have here, which is this. So in this example, on the third hit, the hunter was able to flinch or break a monster part, which led to a stagger. So in this scenario, the hunter was able to flinch the monster on the third hit. For example, say they hit the leg and they flinched it and they were able to topple the monster and that gave them a more higher damage window. So this would be, I would consider this a plus one situation or a greater than one situation. And when I mean plus one, it's sort of like, um, you can think of it like the uh, the attack advantage that the hunter has. So they're, they're doing more damage than in this original situation, which is a plus zero situation, right? It's, it's sort of just even, you know, you're trading one blow for one blow. But because Monster Hunter is not a fighting game per se, it's, it's still asymmetrical, right? The monster can't get stunned, has tons of more HP than you. So this is this is what I would consider a plus zero situation, an even scenario. When you get topples, or if you're able to counterattack the monster, like you're able to, say in this scenario right here, you didn't topple the monster and do your highest damage combo on them, but instead you're able to find a position that you could stand in that could allow you to attack the monster while they're just basically whiffing you, I would consider that a plus one situation as well because it's a true counterattack compared to normal just trades here. All right, so what does a not so good hunter look like? Well, that's the last scenario here. And that's basically when the hunter gets hit. So, you know, say the first hit, they dodge and they're able to get attack in here, but the second hit, they get hit. Now, what usually happens in that situation is that if it's a weak monster and it doesn't do that enough damage, Usually the monster will knock you back on your butt and knock you out of position so that you're not able to trade and get an attack after that attack. So they'll just follow up with their next attack. And that's not the end of the world, but you know, it's not optimal and the, the good monster hunter players don't let this happen. Another thing that can happen too is if you get hit by this hit and it does enough damage, this forces you to heal. So it forces you to give up even maybe another exchange or even possibly three exchanges. So you're basically letting the monster do three attacks before you're able to get in your next attack. So if you think about monster hunter like this, no matter what weapon or what build you're rocking, because the good players, it doesn't really matter what build they're rocking. If your timeline is looking like these first two situations, remember it's for enraged only. It's really only enraged that matters. Like anybody can hit a non-enraged monster that barely attacks in the back. So only really criticize your gameplay when the monster's enraged, because that really shows the true colors of how good or how bad you are as a monster hunter player. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks for watching.